Hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic Frontiers video. So we have the confirmation that we're getting brand new information next week. And I also want to address some points from my last video because I actually got a lot of comments agreeing with me, but also disagreeing with me. And I appreciate that very much. This allowed me to get a better insight on the situation and has allowed me to further elaborate my thoughts on the whole situation. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, you can find it here. I don't know if I'll put it in the description or whatnot. But basically, I talked about the fact that I think Sega's lying about the delay of Sonic Frontiers. They said that they delayed it by a whole year to brush up the quality, which to me implies that they are doing the finishing touches, which I truly do not believe. Everything is in the video. Basically, I said because they barely showed gameplay and the fact that the game didn't look very optimized that it doesn't feel like they're brushing it up. It feels like they are just finishing development for the game. So I said they were kind of stretching the truth there. I do believe a delay did happen, but not by a whole year just to brush up the quality. I don't believe that one at all. So we had that, and then I had a lot of people in the comments telling us about like why would they lie to investors rather than like just like the, the press, for example. Uh, and I would say firstly for that, they would know that the word that goes to the investors is going to reach to everyone. It happens all the time. Especially when it comes to Nintendo. Every time they've got some sort of meeting, we always find out about it. Like the game sales and hardware sales, we always, every time, find out about it. So it's not as if it's this info that only a certain amount of people are going to see. People know that when they are talking to investors that the word is going to go out to everybody. That's just how it works. It's just the culture of the internet. So... Sega has to be aware that's going to happen, and I fully believe that they would be. And second of all, why wouldn't they lie to investors? They're the investors, after all, you know? Like, and like, and it, I said it earlier, but it's not, I guess it's not technically full-on lying, but it is making it sound better than it is. So, game gets delayed, they would say we delayed by a whole year to ensure quality. That's going to sound really good to investors, rather than saying, yeah, we deleted the game by a couple of months. Uh, because it was just not finished, you know? It sounds better if you see you've delayed it by an entire year. It gives more faith in the product. So that's why I believe they kind of stretched the truth there. But in all honesty, I do need to research more on investors and what they do, because I had people saying in the comments that investors are constantly seeing the development of the game, and I don't know if that's true. Like, what? They just go into the offices and they're just showing the game as it's been developed. I feel like that's not a thing but I do not know anything about investors or anything like that, so I could be wrong. I should probably research that, but that doesn't seem like a thing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a hunch and say that's not true. Also, a fact from yesterday was that Sega was conducting game testing-based external evaluations, and I think I discussed the fact that they were doing these focus groups, because we know from the leaks that that is true. They've had playtesters play Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Rangers, whatever it was called at the time, and to give their thoughts, their feedback, and what they thought. Uh, and yeah, like I said yesterday, I was talking about that specifically, whereas in this little Q&A, they were talking about the external evaluations, aka those weird research questions that I had covered in a previous video. The one that discussed Super Mario Odyssey 2, and the one that discussed a bunch of different Sonic concepts, including that really weird live-serviced one with classic Sonic that sounds absolutely abominable. And I hope never, ever happens. So, yeah. So, what this is saying is, this is one of the first times they've been doing the external evaluations. Because I think yesterday I actually said it was the first time. No, they've said in this thing that it is one of the first games to do it. At least for Sega. Uh, I, I, I guess that's fair. But also, at the same time, they should probably be doing this more often if they want to make better games. Like, listening to the people who are going to end up buying your games eventually, probably a smart thing to do. Depending on who you know, who your target audience is, of course, you need to make sure you get the right target audience. You can't just start throwing around these external evaluations just to anybody because then you're just going to come and get a bunch of different answers. You need to know who your target demographic is and then point it towards them. So, yeah, so I get it. It makes sense. It makes sense. I still think, like I said, it's kind of ridiculous that they don't do this more often they should probably do it with almost every game but i guess it is a good sign i i, I guess <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to cover that as well because that was also another part of this q a but anyways that's the point from the last video the reason i bring that up is because there's not a whole lot to discuss with this current information that we are getting so next week we are getting new information on sonic frontiers but do not get your expectations high because it's all based on the localization of the game 
basically there's been this trend on Twitter that has been trying to get the Sonic games to be localized in other regions, other languages, because they're not localized everywhere. And specifically, they've been trying to start the movement of localizing Sonic games in Brazilian Portuguese, which uh, obviously I 100% stand by. They should be trying to localize these Sonic games in every possible language under the sun. Uh, Pokemon used to have this issue before, I think, X and Y, where we didn't have like simultaneous releases and all of that, and then X and Y started the trend that these games were going to be released globally everywhere and it was a really good change and I think it's a change that has stayed up until today so Sonic should probably do the same thing in all honesty so KE confirmed on Twitter that this is what's gonna happen she just said she's seen a lot of posts about localizations and all of that she was taking a break she deserves a break she's been doing a lot of good work and she says she also says also worth knowing that localizations options are generally looked into pretty early in the game development process which is definitely interesting. Uh, I've never, obviously, I mean, I, I've worked on games before, but I've never had any sort of like discussion on the localization. So it's actually interesting to learn the insights behind that, even if it's just a tiny bit. And that's when she says our team should have more news on this in regards to Sonic Frontiers next week. So I don't know when next week, we don't have a specific day, we don't have a specific time, but I assume that KT is going to be the one to tell us the news because I doubt Sonic officials just gonna make a tweet saying, yeah, we've localized the game in Brazilian Portuguese. I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't see it. Uh, but maybe they will, and maybe we'll actually get proper information next week. But do not expect it. Please don't expect it. It's not going to happen. Just expect the localization news for Sonic Frontiers. And I guess maybe we'll find out for Origins, but Origins doesn't really need it because the classic Sonic games don't have that much dialogue or voice acting whatsoever. So, yeah. So that's everything that I've got for you today. Actually, like a really short video. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if if this is good news. I don't know. And let me know if you agree with my points in the last video. And just yeah, let's start a whole discussion because I like I like addressing points. You know, I think I might start doing that more often. I might start making videos and start it off with addressing the comments I got that disagree with me and trying to bring in more discussion because really that's the point. You know, like people disagree with me. Cool. Why? And do I agree with you or do I disagree with you and why do I agree with you? I think it's a cool idea, so I'm going to start doing that more. But with all that said, thank you all for tuning into this video today and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.